Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, Worcester County Tourism Director, and welcome to today's Beach and Beyond. We are going to be heading up to Hobo's, finding out what's going on there with their great kitchen, and down to visit with Buddy Sass at the Ocean City Golf Club. And we're going to be hearing from Brian Stair about five things you got to do in the wintertime in Ocean City, and our good friend Jim Rapp, who's going to be rounding up some great nature ideas for us. And we're here in Berlin, America's coolest small town town visiting with Jeff Oxer and his fabulous glass blowing. So you don't want to miss the show. Stay tuned. We would like to welcome you to the Dough Roller Restaurants, an Ocean City tradition for over 30 years. First opening on the boardwalk in 1980, this family-owned restaurant has expanded, offering four convenient locations around Ocean City. The original location at 3rd Street offers breakfast served with a view. Grab a table early while you're walking the boardwalk or riding bikes. Above this restaurant is the Breakers Hotel. This 37-room getaway is open April through October. It features custom decor and the best panoramic view on the boards. Our second boardwalk restaurant is across from the Inlet parking lot at South Division Street. Opening at 11 a.m., this restaurant is home to Dayton's boardwalk famous fried chicken and seafood. Our two other locations are on Coastal Highway, one at 41st Street beside the Convention Center and the other at 70th Street. Both serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner year-round and can accommodate large groups. Both highway locations now serve Dayton's Boardwalk famous fried chicken and seafood. Come try the pancakes and fried chicken. Enjoy a soft shell crab, delicious crab cake, or take a bucket of fried chicken home for dinner. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, we have something on the menu for everyone. Awesome omelets, pancakes, cream chip beef, subs, Italian dinners and the best pizza in town. Come by and visit us today. The Dough Roller. Good things are rolling your way. Play where the fun shines at the casino at Ocean Downs. Sizzling slots. Electronic table games like roulette and blackjack. Live harness racing. Casual dining. And cool cocktails. The Casino at Ocean Downs. Open daily just minutes from Ocean City on Racetrack Road in Berlin. Hi, we are in the hottest place in town, in America's coolest small town. And we're here with Jeff Oxer at Jeffrey Oxer Designs. Yep. And thank you so much for letting us come into your studio. No and, problem. Uh, you're going to tell folks a little bit about what you do and we're standing right here in the studio and it's nice and warm. Yeah, it's about 110 in here right now. Um, basically we are a blown glass studio and gallery. Um, we start with a raw material um, and it goes into you know different things that we make. We make plates, ornaments, um, chandeliers, pendant lights, um, little smaller things, sinks, uh, anything really that people want to buy um, we try to make here. Um, but it's like a little factory. We have uh, you know, a furnace that holds at 2,030 degrees 24-7 and it keeps molten glass. So that, that's what this is right that's now? That's right here behind oh, us. that's 2,000 degrees? 2000? All the time. Wow. Yep. And then over here we have uh, uh, another furnace that stays on about 2,300 degrees, but that's only when we're working. So, so I wasn't kidding. It is the hottest place in town. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, um, basically we give classes um, from, from ages four and up to make ornaments, uh, paperweight, small drinking glasses, anything like that. And, um, and then, like I said, we have a full functioning glass studio as well. And it's interesting to note, I think, that your customer base isn't just here in Berlin. It's right. Yeah, we have stuff... Um, worldwide. Yeah, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Spain, um, California, Chicago, and of course, Ocean City, Berlin, Delaware, you know, the local places. So how did you get started in this? Um, I actually took it as an elective in college, uh, my last semester at Salisbury, and I just fell in love with it. So I went back after I graduated and pursued it. and. That was, you know, eight years ago, so. And made Berlin your home? Yeah, we've been here about six years now, so. So in addition to the working studio, you also have the retail. Correct. So people can come and purchase yep. things yeah, we have, from um, your retail right store. Right now, since it's the winter time, we obviously are just fulfilling orders. Um, we try to keep the larger orders of large chandeliers and um, like bigger projects for the winter when it's slow here in Berlin. Uh, so, and then in the summer, like once spring comes around, we'll start filling it up with a bunch of new items and it'll be like, you know, a retail gallery for, uh, for that time. But right, right now, you know, I mean, we are open um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 until 
uh, 3, and then Friday and Saturday, 11 until 3. And then if somebody wanted to go um, and find out a little bit more about taking a class or sure, making you can, an ornament, you, yeah, can you can call go us. to your website? Or? Yeah, you can go on the website. It's jeffreyoxer.com, J-F-F-R-E-Y-A-U-X-E-R.com, or you can call us at 443-513-4210, and we are located right behind the Atlantic Hotel here in, in Berlin, so it's easy to find. And I should just say, when we stepped in here today, there was a group of uh, four or six people and they were talking to us and saying they had never seen this before, watching someone make a glass yes. object. And so, that was really cool. Yeah, so while we're open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, we actually blow glass typically from 10 until 2 or yeah. 3. Um, and, you know, anyone that comes in is more than welcome to watch and have, you know, ask questions. And it's not that it's so intense that we can't. Well, you know, we're, we're going to let you get back to work and back to filling all those orders. But all again, right. thank you so much for letting us come in here today. Yeah, no problem. Take thank you time. for having me. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jeff. See ya. Introducing the Gateway Grand Residences on the oceanfront at 48th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. The Gateway Grand is the newest and most luxurious oceanfront community at the beach. You'll find unparalleled attention to detail, superior construction quality, countless relaxing amenities, and beach services that can't be found at any other beach property. The Gateway Grand is a joint partnership between two of the country's largest and most reputable development companies. Trammell Crow Company and the Carlisle Group. If you're looking to buy the best of the best, look no further. The Gateway Grand's control access lobby means a quiet, relaxing stay at your beach place in a controlled environment. The private outdoor pool is located on a 250 foot long elevated oceanfront sun deck where you and your family and friends can enjoy some time basking in the sun or cooling off in the refreshing waters. Have you had enough sun? Or is the weather not to your liking? Then move inside to the indoor pool, where you can still enjoy full views of the beach and the ocean. With perfectly heated waters and open year-round, you'll be able to enjoy the indoor pool 365 days a year. Like to work out? Look no further than our state-of-the-art fitness center. Open 24-7. Get in your daily calorie burn while keeping a close eye on your kids swimming in the indoor pool. Or simply enjoy the serenity of the ocean views. When the day is over, retreat to your home away from home. Our residences feature everything that you're looking for for the perfect beach getaway. Designer furnishings, luxurious baths, spacious kitchens and living areas, and soaring 9-foot ceilings. The Gateway Grand is built with a high-impact skin and window structure that meets not just Ocean City construction code, but that of Miami-Dade, one of the highest in the country. The Gateway Grand features sound insulation in all of the walls, both interior and exterior. Enjoy a peaceful, quiet beach getaway year-round. Do you hate fighting the elements just to get from the elevator to your unit? Not at Gateway Grand. We provide our owners with climate-controlled corridors, allowing comfortable year-round use for all of our owners. Imagine leaving your residence in the middle of February, getting on one of our five high-speed elevators, and then walking to the indoor pool all in the comfort of your shorts and sandals. Or maybe you've stayed someplace where there wasn't enough parking. Gateway Grand takes care of our owners here too. We've got a six-story, private, gated and secure parking facility on site. And every one of our owners gets a minimum of two parking passes, meaning you'll never worry about parking at the beach again. So if you're considering buying a new beach retreat, or maybe you're looking to upgrade your current beach home, make sure you stop by the Gateway Grand to see what we have to offer. We promise you'll love what you see. The sales center is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can visit us online at www.thegatewaygrand.com or call us at 410-723-6290. This is professional wave rider Brian Stair, and I'm going to give you five great things to do right here in Worcester County in the winter. Indoor mini golf at one of our awesome indoor mini golf facilities. Bowling at one of the county's incredible bowling alleys. Ice skating at the carousels indoor ice rink and finally one of the many outdoor activities that I love so much we've got fishing we've got boating we've got biking we've got running even surfing and hunting all incredible in the winter right here in Worcester County Maryland this has been Brian Stair and I hope you enjoy Worcester County and get a chance to tour Warco as much as I do 
Let's drink the liquid of amber so bright. Let's drink the liquid with foam snowy white. Let's drink the liquid that brings all good cheer. Oh, where is the drink like a tap house beer? Directly on the bay in Ocean City, Maryland is the 45th Street Tap House. With over 40 different brews, beautiful views, and fantastic food, the 45th Street Tap House will be your favorite Ocean City destination. Featuring the best selection of our local breweries, farm-to-table freshest ingredients, and spectacular sunsets. I was used for a doctor's appointment. I was used to assemble bunk beds. We were used to reorganize the garage. I was used to wait for the cable guy. I've been rolled over since 1987. Come on, people! They're called vacation days for a reason. Put yours to better use with a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Enjoy 10 miles of free beach, great places to stay, and a fun-filled boardwalk. Visit OCOcean.com and don't miss free family events like concerts on the beach. Hey, you! So I was thinking, we really need to get away. What about that month-long cruise in the Mediterranean? Hey, book it first class. Oh my gosh, you're the best. So I'm out shopping right now, and I found these really cute pair of heels. How much are they? Um, they're about $1,000. For that price, get two. Oh my gosh, you're the best. OK, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, whose phone is this? We've got a great year ahead and so many cool things to look forward to right here in Worcester County. We have boat shows and car shows and air shows. We have concerts and art strolls and fiddlers. We have Springfest and Sunfest. We have 5Ks and 10Ks and how many Ks in a half marathon? The list goes on and on and on and I want to invite you to come down and enjoy Worcester County as much as I do. This has been Professional Wave Rider Brian Stair for Worcester County, Maryland. I was used for an oil change. Someone used me to renew their license. To help the in-laws move. I was used for traffic court. If we're not used in the next month, we're going to expire. Come on, people! Don't your vacation days deserve better? Treat them right with a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Enjoy 10 miles of free beach, great places to stay, and a fun-filled boardwalk. Visit OCOcean.com and don't miss free family events like Sundays in the Park. Hi, I'm Lisa Challenger, and today on Beach and Beyond, we are here in the beautiful town of Berlin with Michael Bay, who is the Economic Development Director for the town of Berlin. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Did to I get the, that right? You got that right, okay. except you left out we're the coolest small town in America. We are in the coolest small town in America. Yes. Tell us a tiny bit about that whole competition and what that's meant to it, Berlin. Well, it was in February we got finally got the, the nod that we had won the contest. A lot of thanks to you and the From tour, budget, budget Travel Budget magazine. Travel Magazine for you and your efforts with the tourism department for the county. And it has been over the top as far as the it's experience. Busy. Very it's busy. busy. Here. Uh, when we first got it, the uh, press, we got free press, we got uh, excitement, brought all the merchants together, everybody worked together. We threw a huge party with probably the biggest event we've ever had in downtown. So tell Broadway. me what's new and what's going on here well, in the town for the uh, Well, we've got a couple new restaurants from last year Burley Inn Tavern on Pitt Street, and also just uh, half a block away is the Blacksmith, which is. You guys uh, are getting. A lot of restaurants. restaurants well known for sort of a we've got, little eating definition. Yep, we've got about seven places you can eat lunch, nine places you can go and sit down and have a, an adult beverage. So we've developed some uh, pub crawls seem to be starting to happen on the weekends. Okay. So tell us what kind of great events you have going on here throughout the summer. Just, we're full of events, as you know. It's That's always right something now. exciting going on. Up with you know, We have jazz and blues, we have high heel races, bathtub races. Second Friday Art Strolls. Every month is a Second Friday Art Stroll, which and they usually have a theme, something going on. Uh, Peach Festival, um, the Fiddlers. Fiddlers Convention, Oktoberfest, and of course our world famous ball drop, New Year's Eve. Uh, just it's always something going on here. That's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of different things. As you've always said some wacky things. Yes, uh, some wacky things going on. We have a bridal uh, show uh, that's once a year, and 
it's just a lot of fun Wells to be Wellsville is known for closing down their main street for a variety of events. At the drop of a hat, yeah. we will close the street. And also, we're also known for a little bit of those adult beverages being served at a lot of our events. We're so, right out here on the right porch out of the, here on the, porch of the So hotel. if you haven't been to Berlin lately, you really need to come over and see what is going on. As Michael said, there is a lot of stuff to see, a lot of new places to eat, rest or events to uh, enjoy. Take a Michael. horse and buggy tour. Yes. See what's just characterize. ride around town, get familiar, be a horse and buggy. So thank you. Thank you so for much coming over. For, it's always uh, glad to see you in Berlin. Today, Berlin. Thank nice, you. Thank you. Let's drink the liquid of Amber So Bright. Let's drink the liquid with foam snowy white. Let's drink the liquid that brings all good cheer. Oh, where is the drink like a tap house beer? Directly on the bay in Ocean City, Maryland is the 45th Street Tap House. With over 40 different brews, beautiful views, and fantastic food, the 45th Street Tap House will be your favorite Ocean City destination. Featuring the best selection of our local breweries, farm-to-table freshest ingredients, and spectacular sunsets. Welcome back to another edition of Talking About Golf. I'm Buddy Sass, your host professional here at the Ocean City Golf Club. And I want to talk to you today about one of my kind of pet peeves. What I think is maybe one of the great innovations in golf, but also one of the fantastic pitfalls that I find a lot of golfers falling into. And that is the use of GPS. Watches, hat clips, all this stuff. I am not a fan of any GPS unless you know it in relation to something else. For instance, on greens, we'll use our putting green as example. It's about 50 yards deep. If the pin's in the middle and we're at 150, we could have a yardage of 175 down to 125. And the problem is, especially when it's a front flag, when the flag is towards the front, or there's trouble in front, amateurs never use enough club. They don't factor in enough yardage. To me, you need to know what the back of the green is, the front and the center, and then you can use the GPS in between. For instance, if I'm down on the front of the green, I'm out in the fairway, and it's 20 yards short, we're looking at 130 to the flag. I hit my pitching wedge, and if I hit it short, wind, humidity, whatever, I've now short-sided myself, right? I'm now short of the green. I've got a tough chip shot. How do I get it up and down? By contrast, if I'm at the 150 in the fairway to the center, but the pin's way in the back and I got 170 or 175, I probably am not comfortable with that club. I end up hanging it a little short and therefore I've got a huge putt because I only know the yardage and I was uncomfortable. I like to work off the middle. I'm always working off the middle. If it's a 150 shot and an eight iron, I may just hit it a little easy. I may bust a nine iron if I'm playing good. If it's in the back, I'm certainly gonna take more. I'm gonna go seven or six, but I gotta know I wanna miss it in the middle or where I can putt it. If I'm chipping it, and I see it all the time in MGAs on Saturdays, the guys are missing the greens, not because they hit a terrible shot, but because they use the wrong club. Get the ball to the middle of the green if it means too much, or if it means being a little conservative on a back flag. Use the GPS to your advantage, but know your surroundings and know the other yardages that you should use in conjunction with the GPS. I'm Buddy Sass, and I look forward to seeing you again talking about golf. As a commercial rental property owner, you're used to dealing with urgent or inconvenient issues springing up at any moment. Like that one commercial property you worked so hard to maintain? Leaky roofs, faulty heating units, collecting rent, triggered alarm, anything to provide you that most convenient phone call in the middle of the night to get you out of bed. Managing your own property can be overwhelming having to monitor everything from maintenance to compliance issues to on-time payments, etc. This takes dedication, resources, and most of all, time. A lot of it. But hey, owning investment real estate comes with a 24-7 commitment, right? Wrong. At least it doesn't have to. Enter Sperry Van Ness. Managing your investment property doesn't have to be so bad. 
With Sperry Van Ness, managing your investment property is headache free and can save you money, loads of time, and a whole lot of hassle. We have the experience and dedication to ensure superior property management, and we take care of everything. <sighs> Compliance, budgeting, billing, scheduling, lease administration, maximizing NOI, enforcing, collecting, inspecting, tenant complaints, accounting, filing, walkthrough, signing, briefing, reviewing, maintenance. <sighs> Doesn't it just make sense? Thousands have chosen Sperry Van Ness for a reason, and you can too. Qualified property managers, regular inspections, quality affordable maintenance, and overall a better experience for everyone. Visit svnmiller.com forward slash pm to find out more. Sperry Van Ness. The right people, the right process, the right platform. Brews Up in Berlin is Delmarva's first brew-on-premise beer and wine supply store. Join the exciting hands-on experience of making your own craft beer or wine. We have a diverse assortment of grains and hops, over 20 distinctive wine kits, and plenty of equipment for beginners or experts. Let's make something special together. Brew with us solo or in a group. No experience is necessary, just a love of beer and wine. So give us a call or stop in and reserve a spot to become a brewmaster or winemaker today at Brews Up in Berlin. Is it time for a lifestyle change? Cadbury at Lewis is a Quaker-guided, not-for-profit retirement community adjacent to the historic seaport town of Lewis, Delaware. We are a continuing care retirement community, offering spacious, independent living apartments and cottages that can be modified to fit your lifestyle. Residents live an enriched and active retirement as they enjoy all the wonderful things Lewis has to offer. Shopping, bicycling, the beach, boating, fishing, museums, and more. You can even stroll the boardwalk of the nation's summer capital, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Cadbury at Lewis offers the peace of mind that comes with knowing you have a plan for the future if your health needs change. Cadbury has assisted living apartments, a secure memory area, on-site skilled nursing and rehabilitation services, as well as round-the-clock security. Cadbury residents live a maintenance-free lifestyle because the housekeeping, landscaping, repairs and transportation are all inclusive. They can choose country club style dining in our restaurant or casual dining in our bistro. Residents indulge their creative side in our art studio or woodworking shop. It's easy to stay fit through bicycling with the recyclers group, working out in the fitness center, swimming in the indoor heated pool or enjoying wee bowling. At Cadbury, anyone that desires an active resort lifestyle that is maintenance-free will feel like they're on vacation year-round. Contact us today for more information and a tour so you or your loved one can enjoy their retirement the way it was meant to be. At Cadbury at Lewis, you've earned your place at the beach. I'm Gretchen Hansen, executive chef and owner of Hobo's Restaurant and Bar, and today we're going to do a little lesson on salsas. Salsas are one of those incredibly easy things to make that so many people just go into the grocery store and buy out of a jar or a bottle. It costs pennies, it takes moments, and the flavors are so much more fresh and vibrant and live when you make those salsas yourself. So we're going to do a quick and easy lesson on red and green salsas. Now the most important thing that you choose is your chili. Your chili choice decides the heat temperature of your salsa. So you want to choose a chili that really works for you. Now I'm going to do a red salsa with a Fresno chili, which happens to be one of my perfect and most favorite ones. Now this is a Fresno, it's not a red jalapeno. They are very, very different in terms of flavor. But if you can't find a Fresno, a red jalapeno will do. I'm going to throw these whole into a pan with a little bit of oil and we're going to start those cooking. I'm also going to throw in some fresh garlic cloves in this just because I happen to love the flavor of garlic and there's not enough garlic in the world for me in terms of salsa. But this one's getting close to ready so we're going to add a little bit of veg stock in here. Now what this veg stock is going to do is it's just going to cook the flesh of the chili and you will notice we left the seeds in this chili so that's going to make it a spicier rendition. If you want to calm it down a little bit, take the seeds out. Cut it in half, make sure you use gloves, and take the seeds out with a spoon. 
If you want to calm it down even more, you can use a mild chili, like these, for example, over here. They look like red jalapenos, but they're actually not. They're just sweet peppers. So you do not have to use a spicy pepper in your salsa. You can go with a completely mild one. This is one of my favorites right here. This is a chocolate bell. It looks sexy, it looks amazing, but it actually tastes like a very, very mild bell pepper, and it doesn't have the actual effects that a green bell pepper has. So this is lovely. I threw a little bit more herbal sea salt in, you want to use real salt with tomatoes. Salt substitutes do not bring out that flavor the way real salt does, but use it extremely sparingly and make sure you use sea salt flakes. Now this salsa, if for all intents and purposes, is done. We're just going to reduce that and let it roll. Now I'm gonna just taste this one real fast and decide that I don't have enough spice in it. So what do I wanna do if I wanna add a little bit more spice? I'm going to throw one of my rehydrated chipotle chilies in. Now chipotle chili is only a smoked and dehydrated jalapeno. You have choices of many different chilies like California chilies or Anaheim chilies or Cascabel chilies. Any one of those chilies you can reuse by rehydrating it and adding it to your salsa. When you do that, you are gonna to wanna to sieve it because your skins aren't going to come through or they're going to be get caught in your teeth so your skins won't come through if you sieve your salsa now this one is just crying out for some chips at this point thank you for visiting with us this is gretchen hansen at hobo's restaurant and bar don't let the price of summer fun get you down. Go to KillerCouponBook.com and get incredible deals all over town. Restaurants, amusement parks, golf, water sports, and so much more. Go to KillerCouponBook.com, pick your coupons, print them, and go have fun. It's really that easy. KillerCouponBook.com So, you like fishing? So do we. Check out Hooked on OC every Sunday morning at 7.30 on WMDT. Hey, more bills, more bills. Captain Rob, you out there? Make sure you join us next time on Beach and Beyond for more great things to do and fun things to see and places to visit.